I am here to tell you about The Kingdom of Back by Marie Lu. This is the story of Nannerl Mozart, who loves to lose herself in music. Her father allows her to perform at the piano and encourages her in that, but he won't allow her to compose music herself because it's not proper for a lady. And he makes it clear to her that while she's still a girl, she's allowed to perform in public, but only until she reaches marriageable age, and then she'll be expected to put all of her music away and focus on getting married and raising a family. Meanwhile, she has a younger brother, Wolfgang Amadeus, who absolutely adores her and wants to play the piano as well, and he is actually really good. But because he is a boy, he is treated differently than she is. He is allowed to be bold. He is allowed to uh, compose his own music and do basically whatever he wants to. They are really close and they perform together all over Europe, but at the same time, she starts to realize the difference in how they are treated. And even though it's not his fault, she starts to resent him for it. Now, the two of them have always been close and she's always told him these stories as they're falling asleep about a fantasy land that they created called the Kingdom of Back. And she is shocked when one day an elven prince from that fantasy land appears to them in real life. And he makes her this offer that he can give her the fame that she deserves, the recognition throughout the centuries, but she has to perform a certain set of tasks for him first. These seem innocuous at first, and then they get slightly more dangerous, and then she starts to wonder if she can really trust this prince at all, and if anything that he's telling her or that she's learned about the fantasy land could really be true. And this is all happening while she's getting closer and closer to that marriageable age and the expiration date on her career as a performer of music, and as her younger brother is starting to get more and more popular and start to eclipse her in um, fame and in prestige. And so she has to make a choice as to how she wants to be remembered and what she is willing to sacrifice to get that. So if you enjoy historical fiction and fantasy fiction and just combined genre bending fiction, then this is an excellent story for you. I cannot recommend it highly enough. It is The Kingdom of Back by Marie Lu.